Previously on Soft Valkyrie. Sigmund tells Sieglinde and Hundling his life story. Calling himself Wewald, sad boy, Sigmund explains that he grew up in the forest with his parents and twin sister. One day, he found their home burned down, his mother killed, and his sister gone. All alone in the world, he has never quite found his place. Recently, he fought with the relatives of a girl being forced into marriage. His weapons were destroyed, the bride was killed, and Sigmund himself was forced to flee. Sieglinde looks on the ground, pale and deeply moved. Hunding rises. I know a riotous race, not holy towards but men. Most revered This hated by all and by me For vengeance forth was I spawned They meant to win me for king's man's blood Too late came I and no return home the flying outcast trace to find again in my house. He sits down. My house holds he for fear today. gestures, Zieglinde steps between the two men. Hands from the hall, linger not here. My night rat sent me within. And wait, do that for me. Zieglinde stands a while undecided and thoughtful. She turns slowly and with hesitation steps toward the storeroom. There, she again pauses and remains standing, lost in thought with half averted face. Quiet resolution, she opens the cupboard, fills a drinking horn, and shakes some spices into it from a box. She 
she then turns her eyes on Siegmund so as to meet his gaze, which he keeps unceasingly fixed on her. She perceives Hunding watching them and turns immediately to the bedchamber. On the steps, she turns once more, looks yearningly at Siegmund and indicates with her eyes, persistently and with eloquent earnestness, a particular spot in the ash tree's stem. drives her with a violent gesture from the room. With a last look at Siegmund, she goes into the bedchamber and closes the door after her. Hunding takes his weapons from the tree stem. With weapons, man should be armed. Going, he turns to Siegmund. The world thing meet me tomorrow. My word, here's to war thyself. Well, he goes into the chamber. The closing of the bolt is heard from within. Siegmund alone. It has become quite dark. The hall is only lighted by a dull fire on the hearth. Siegmund sinks on a bench by the fire and broods silently for some time in great agitation. I come to my foreman's house As a hostage here, helpless I lie
up, a bright light strikes on the spot in the ash tree stem indicated by Zieglinda's look, on which a sword hilt is now clearly seen. From the gloom, what from the ash tree stem, the sightless eye behold the flash, the has left of its light. How the glorious gleam pierce my heart Is it the glance of the woman so fair That there clinging behind her she loved As from the hall she passed Fire now gradually sinks. Darkening shadow covered my eyes, but her glances beam fell on me then, bringing me warmth and day. Blessings came. The sun's bright rays, the gladdening splendor, encircled my heart till behind mountains it sank. Another faint gleam from the fire. Once more her day went hence, fell a gleam on me here. In Shadow gathers around me Deep in my breast alone yet glimmers a dim dying glow The fire is quite extinguished, complete darkness The door at the side opens softly In the silence and darkness of the night, Sieglinde re-enters the room. Will the siblings indulge in their incestuous desires? Find out what happens in the fourth episode of Soft Valkyrie. Coming June 24th. <laughs>